Welcome to another video. This is Big Will from Weber's Barbecue. Today we're going to be looking at flagship 1100 from Rectech Grills. What you're looking at is a fully assembled flagship 1100. Before we get started, I want to give a full disclosure or disclaimer. I bought this pellet grill 100%. Rectech did not provide me this grill to do an overview or review. It's all on my own. So we're going to go over some noticeable upgrades and some add-ons from the previous version, the RT700, also known as the Bull. From left to right, uh, first thing we're going to look at is the controller. They actually redesigned this controller to fit. To, to, it looks like it actually belongs there. If you know anything about the RT700, the Bull, the controller works great. It just didn't, it looked wonky. It just looked unprofessional. It didn't look like it belonged there. Not in this version. This version was redesigned. It fits like a glove. And it works really great. Really good. Uh, really great, really good. I don't know. It works good. <laughs> Simple controls, you got a knob for the temperature, you got a power on, power off, you got a settings option, and of course you can do all that through the app. Does not have a light in the cooking chamber. They decided not to go with the light, which is fine with me. I always wear a headlight if I cook at night. You do get uh, two temperature probe ports and you get two temperature probes with the cooker. You also notice the add-ons uh, of the rings where you can strap it down if you're going to take it on the road with you, either in a trailer or a truck. So I'm very happy to see that those. There's two on each side, left and right of the pellet smoker. You'll also notice the legs have been redesigned. And the drip bucket is on the bottom now instead of on the side of the pellet smoker. You get the flagship uh, bull horns. Looks kind of cool. The emblem is there. Uh, 304 stainless steel emblem. The whole cooking chamber is 304 stainless steel. And the diameter of the cooking chamber, if I'm saying it correctly, or the shape of it, uh, is different from the bull. Or the bull, and you'll notice uh, when we do a, a side view, the bull actually has is more circular like a barrel this one oval if i'm hopefully i'm saying it correctly but now we're looking at the uh, flagship from above in the front for some reason the way it looks on the video it's kind of squished together but uh, going through uh, later on in the video you'll see that uh, that all changes i'm not sure why it's like that it looks like that now But it's very sturdy. It doesn't have, for me, it doesn't have any wiggle whatsoever. Fully assembled myself. I was able to pick it up, even though it's about 200 plus pounds. I was able to pick it up myself and put it, uh, stand it up when I was done uh, assembling the grill. Took about an hour to do. Very easy. Instructions are very easy to follow. The four casters on it, you have two that are, they swivel, which is on the right-hand side, and then the left-hand side, they don't swivel at all. I wish all four swiveled. It makes it easier to move around that way. And with the controller, uh, again, I can't say enough about the controller. The previous version did work well, but it didn't look like it actually fit in the cutout of the shelf. Now it does. And so I'm very pleased that they updated it and improved that area. There is hooks on the side of the shelf where you can put your tools. You don't have to screw it in. It's already a part of the shelf, which for me is a plus. In the back of the shelf, there is a power port, power outlet. You can use that for various things. I actually used it yesterday for when I cooked on my Masterbuilt uh, gravity smoker. 
and I also cooked on this as well. Uh, I cooked some barbecue chicken thighs and along with my ribs on the gravity smoker. In the back of the shelf, I noticed there was no option for cord management. Just wanted to point that out. Doesn't make or break of my decision on this grill. It just doesn't have it. There also is no pellet dump. But for me, I don't really exchange pellets as far as depending on my cook. I, I simply use cherry, hickory, and oak. And the proteins come out amazing. You got the typical handle on the side. As you can see, the shape of the barrel I was trying to describe earlier in the video is much different than the bowl. You got your chimney stack as well. Everything works as planned. And it's in a few moments we're going to go back around to the front and look at the cooking chamber briefly. So overall, it's this very sturdy uh, grill. Uh, the leg, the new support for the legs, big thumbs up. And now we're going to look at the inside of the grill. The cooking chamber, you got plenty of room to cook quite a few. Uh, briskets, ribs, you name it. The top shelf I like, it's 304 stainless steel, very sturdy top shelf. And it's a lot l bigger than most pellet grill top shelves as well. So you can fit more on there. I normally don't cook on the top shelf. I usually just cook on the bottom shelf, so I usually take that out, so that's why it's very clean. The bottom shelf, which I like, because they designed it where you can slide it out, no problem. You can just use that added tool and just slide it out. So my quick overview of this flagship 1100, I do give it two thumbs up. Uh, I say that because I'm actually very pleased with it and some added updates or upgrades and add-ons. Uh, this makes for a very good pellet smoker. So if you're in the market for a new pellet smoker, I highly recommend to look at this one. It has a six-year warranty, best in the business. Uh, customer service is really good and they, sh they ship very fast. So that's my quick overview of the flagship 1100. Uh, also, used to, it's the upgraded version from the RT700, the Bull. And I'll have a full review of this grill coming soon so you can make your decisions. So thank you for watching. This is Big Will from Weber's Barbecue. Please like and subscribe. And I'm just like you. I love cooking barbecue. I'm a backyard barbecue warrior, just like you. <laughs> Self-proclaimed pit master. Look for my review here shortly. Thanks for watching. Again, subscribe, share my channel, and give me a big thumbs up. Take care. God bless.